hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you're returning welcome back so today we are going to be unboxing all of the goodies that I bought myself for my birthday y'all it's a lot of stuff <laughs> This is going to be a very long video. I am forewarning you right now. Um, I've got my glass and I'm about to pop open a little champs because it is, it's a lot of stuff. Um, so yes, if you are interested in this video and want to see all the pink, fun, girly things, stay tuned. all right guys so i've got me a little champs and i've also i have not eaten today so i probably shouldn't be drinking this on an empty stomach but i don't have anywhere to go today um i am eating these little seaweed snacks i get just get them from kroger and they're like a dollar a piece but i tried it i don't know if someone gave it to me um, to try but I love them they're just like little seaweed um yeah they're just like little seaweed and it's really strange because I don't eat sushi I don't know I don't eat sushi but I love these but they just have a little light coating of um I think like sugar and salt they have a couple of different ones this is just the roasted seaweed and this is sweet and salty um, they also got regular and then they've got um, wasabi, but I don't like hot things or spicy things, so I don't get the wasabi. And then the regular one, I don't know, I think it's just plain, so I don't get it, but these are my favorite. All right, so I've got a little champs. I've got my little snack here. We are going to get into the video. Um, there's no particular order that I'm opening the bags. <laughs> If you saw my thumbnail, you saw how many bags that I have. Um, so I'm just going to start grabbing stuff. Okay, y'all. So the first little bag that I'm grabbing is Sephora. And this was like, I didn't do all these and like get all this in one day. If y'all saw my last, was it the last or the second from the last video of like come shopping with me. Um, there were a couple of little cuts in there. Just because I had to go to work, I only took my birthday off. That was really retarded. But so I picked up a couple of different things. Um, so the first thing is my birthday gifts from Sephora. This is the Tatcha, which I'm happy about because I keep hearing about this brand. And I've never tried anything from there. So this is my little birthday gift. This is, what is it? This is the rice wash soft cream cleanser um the dewy skin cream and a liquid silk canvas um this is like a protective primer so this is my little gift from sephora and i also got um this fenty beauty this is the gloss bomb and it's in the color fussy so that is this lighting again. That is what that looks like. And I've really been enjoying Fenty's um, lipsticks. This is the, um, I feel like it's called Unlocked, but I will put the name of this lip color somewhere over here. But this is what this gloss looks like. It's just like a really light, um, like a pinky, like um, not it's not mauve. I feel like mauve is more of a purpley, but it's like a, just like a really light pink gloss. So that is what that looks like. I got that just because I wanted to try that. And I didn't really get that much makeup, honestly. I really want to start, now that the world is starting to open back up, I want to actually go and have my makeup professionally done and then they just tell me, hey, this is what I, you know, used on you. If you like it, you can get it. That way, it'll just be a little bit easier for me to kind of pick out, you know, different colors. So, that's the first thing that I got. The second um, package that I got is from Vineyard Bond. 
So if you're not familiar with Vineyard Vine, it is a southern, um, a southern like preppy clothing brand. So, and I've been wanting some stuff from there, but I just haven't been able to get any. But there's um, there's a Vineyard Vine in Avalon, so I was able to go in there and get a couple of things. That's just the receipt, and the bag is so super cute. Their little mascot is this little pink whale. I love it. So, and then they wrap it up so cute. So, okay. And if you watch my stories uh, on my actual birthday, you probably would have seen a couple of these and me trying them on and stuff like that. But I got this dress. I love, love this dress. I am totally in love with it. So it's a long dress. It kind of hits, if I can remember. And I'm, I apologize. I'm not gonna do a try on in this video because there's so much stuff to go through, and I don't want it to be super mad long. So I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna try them on. But I'll have plenty of stuff where I have it. You know, plenty of videos and things where I wear it. But yeah, you can wear this off the shoulder or either on the shoulders, and it just has this gorgeous gorgeous print it's perfect for springtime um and the bottom is a light ruffle it's not like a heavy ruffle it's just really light but it's got ruffles on the sleeves and then across the top and the back of it so yeah i got that and i'll put these back in here so that's the first thing. The second thing that I got are some matching shorts. These are so, so cute. I'm just in love with this print. It looks very much like Lily Pulitzer, but not quite. But yeah, I love all the little like really bright colored things, as y'all know. And I love this super cute little detail. It's got the little whale on the back pocket. So yeah. I love these these um pants these shorts are in a size 12 they are true to fit but you know i got a little bit back there so it kind of gaps a little bit but it does have um hooks for a belt so i'll just have to go get a belt um and then i'm sure i'll be fine but i've got the matching shorts for that and then i believe this dress think I got this in a medium yes the dress is in a medium and it fits perfectly so if you're my size or even busty like I am um a medium is perfectly fine so I got that and then the last item that I got from there I just wanted a shirt so and this is kind of I feel like it's kind of big now but I didn't have time to try it on I got an extra large and now that I'm looking at it, this does look very, very large. This is the back of it. Yeah, this is going to be too big. Why did I do that? I think they were out of, I don't think they had a large. I think I was looking for a large and it just had, they just had smalls, one medium, and then the, the extra large. So I'm going to, I'm going to be over that way tomorrow. So I'll probably just exchange these. I'll try them later. But yeah. This is the back of it and then in the front there is just this little pocket and with their mascot and it just says been your bond and this is just in baby pink and of course like i said this is in an extra large but yeah i think i'm gonna go and try to find a large so i'm gonna put this all back um and if you didn't see my stories one of the um one of the things that I did by myself and Mitchell as well, if you saw my video, my um, the St. Patty's Day video where we went to Avalon and I was telling y'all about the VIP section, I went ahead as a birthday gift to myself and got our black cards. Um, I will show you. Okay, so yes, I bought our little... Um, black cards from Avalon and like I said this is mine and, and Mitchell has one as well so they've got the Kentucky Derby um, event coming to Avalon so we will have free VIP seating there 
um, with this card as well as free valet and there's like two events a month I think or one a month that's just for black card members so that was another little gift that I've been wanting that I bought for myself for my birthday okay the next bag this is from TJ Maxx oh y'all look I went in there and found I've been needing some jammies and I found this the top is super plain and it's probably gonna be super big for me but it's fine because they're just like little lounge clothes so this is the top it's just super plain and it's just got this where you can tie it at the um at the bottom but look how freaking adorable the pants are <laughs> I had to have these y'all look at these are these not the cutest things ever <laughs> I love these they just have the little glam puppies on there um, some with bows, some with sunglasses, and the little um, scarf. It's so, so cute. So, and then these also have a drawstring, which I really like. And then the bottoms just kind of cuff at the ankle. So, yeah, I got those, that little set there. And I've got, I've never had a long night top before. So I saw this and wanted to get it and it's so cute. It's so pink and cute. This is just a very long night dress or night top. And it's like a silky, a white silky material with baby pink hearts all over it. So that's the sleeve. And then it has a collar and all that. So um, yeah, I thought this was super, super pretty. So I picked that up and the last thing that's in this bag, oh, I've got this gorgeous dress. Again, this will be perfect for spring if it would ever completely warm up here in Georgia and stop raining. This will be perfect to wear. Um, I totally undid the straps, but this is a very long, like little ruffly um yellow dress and it's like i guess it is kind of like gingham but the straps i believe tie yes the straps tie up so you can have a bow on your shoulder which i thought is so adorable so yeah and then you can adjust it make it as tight or as loose as you would like so i got that something very very light and this is really good quality like it's very it's very lined in the inside and the fabric is very very it's thick so I've got that that is what is all is in this bag I'm gonna try to put everything back in its bag so it's not all over my room <laughs> okay that is what's there. The next uh, bag and items that I got was from Bath and Body Works. I'm so excited. I saw their new um, collection. It's like Pink Paradise or something like that. And um, I saw it before my birthday. I'm like, no, I just need to wait <laughs> until my birthday gets here because I plan on buying a couple of things. So I'm just going to start grabbing stuff. Okay, so this is the Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower. Um, this is a sand and sea salt body scrub. So this is what this looks like. And y'all, I love this packaging. And it smells really nice too. It smells really, really nice. Uh, I'm not typically a big fan of banana, but this is not really overpowering. I may actually get a couple more of these. So it comes out and it has like a little bit of a suds to it, um, which would be good like lathering your skin and like really, really exfoliating your skin. Um, and then it just kind of, I don't know, just like sand, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. But um, yeah, it looks like it's got a few glitter flakes in there as well, which is always nice. But it's made with coconut oil and walnut shells. 
So, um, and the fragrance notes are passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. So, yeah, I got that. And I've got the matching, um, this is the Aloe and Vitamin E Shower Gel. And I cannot wait to try this because I have actually never tried um, Bath and Body Works shower gel before. So I can't wait for that. This I'm super excited about. So I got the matching. I got the whole set of this. <laughs> I was so in love with this packaging. So this is Beachy Glow Body Lotion. So it comes out like, let me see. It comes out like a foam or like a, it looks like tan. Okay, there we go. It looks like this. And so it's like a foam. But you just kind of massage it in and it just gives you like a light, light glow. And it's got um, little gold reflectors in there. So I can't wait to try this. Um, I told y'all I plan on going to Miami in May. So I'm super excited to try this. But yeah, it's just got like little gold I don't know if you can tell but it's just got like little gold reflectors okay so the next items that I got this was oh this is the champagne toast diamond shimmer mist so y'all know I love my champagne toast um, and this is just a little shimmer that I can spray then I've also got <laughs> again the matching set um this is the fine fragrance mist y'all aren't y'all in love with this packaging it's beautiful i am i love all shades of pink but as you can tell <laughs> hot pink is my favorite or fuchsia pink is my favorite so i am totally in love with this line um this is also the ultimate hydration body cream and this is with hyaluronic acid and it is a 24 hour moisture so I got that from the matching set and I got, this is a pineapple Prosecco and this is just a lip gloss. So I got that one and let's see, last but not least, this is the Pure Wonder 24 Hours of Moisture um, Glotation body cream. It has shea butter and cocoa butter in it. And y'all, if you have not tried um, the Pure Wonder line, it smells beautiful. So definitely need to try that. I just needed something um, that when I got out of the shower, that was, um, yeah, there we go. When I got out of the shower, that was, I could just scoop up and like rub. Oh, yes, it smells so nice. Just rub all over. So I picked that up. And that is all that I got from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, I cannot wait to take this line to my Amy. <laughs> okay, so the next package that I got is from Fabrique. Um, I have told y'all about this store before in Avalon. I love it. And I just got one thing out of there. I just got some super fun little earrings. And this is what they look like. I thought these were so adorable. They're pink and they've got glitter on them. But this is what they look like. Let me see. There we go. This is what they look like here. So I thought those were just kind of different. And of course they're pink and glittery, so you can't really go wrong with that. <laughs> so I've got that. That is all that I got from Fabrique. Um, they had a pair of super fun uh, long pants in there that were fuchsia. My last video or the second from the last I can't keep up I'm sorry but the one my shopping video um the fuchsia pants that I had on that I tried on from Zara they kind of looked like that but they weren't as long and I did not get them because they were a little pricey but 
I really should have gotten them. Um, this is like when I went to, what was it? The Galentine's event. That's when I saw them. And so naturally I went back. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about those pants. I went back and of course they were gone. So I was kind of disappointed about that because they were so pretty. But anyway, goes to show you when you find something that you like at a store, just go ahead and buy it because it may not be there. Okay, so the next items oh, that I got, this is from Burlington. And I've got these fun pair of slippers. These are Betsy Johnson. Y'all know I love Betsy Johnson. So these are just some fur um, slippers with like little big pink hearts <laughs> all over them or on the front of them. So I got those. And y'all know I'm obsessed with these makeup headbands. Um, again, I know it's not for that, but I have extensions, obviously. And so when I pull my hair up to go to the gym, or if I'm riding around in my car with my top down, um, my webs sometimes show, especially now when they need to be redone. So I love to pop these little things on and have them. And it serves as like a sweatband when I go to the gym or it's just something super cute to have on when I go to the lake or when I'm just driving around. So I got that and I got another light baby pink one that just says glam. So cute. And y'all, these are super cheap. These were like $3.99. You can sometimes find them for like $2.99 um, depending on where you go. But I usually get them from... TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington, just, you know, those fun little stores. The last thing that's in this package is the Sweet Like Candy from Ariana Grande. I have been wanting this fragrance. Um, I have not smelled it, but I love sweet smelling things, so I'm super excited to try this. So that, I believe is all that I got well that's all that's in this bag I may have another bag from Burlington or other stores I'm not really sure like I said I'm not really going in any particular order it's just whatever I pick up okay so that's that the next item or bag that I have is from Victoria's Secrets okay so course I always need new robes I got me a new robe this is baby pink and I believe it just says I don't really know what it says <laughs> I don't I oh it says sweet dreams I thought it said Victoria's Secret um because I don't think there's anything on here that says what it says but yeah it says sweet dreams all over it so I got me a new little robe and I need more but this is the only one there everyone is out of a lot of stuff I guess it's just everything going on in the world right now but everyone's out of a lot of stuff so anyway I got this robe and I got these fun panties I'm always down for some little lace undies. So these are just baby pink undies. And they have this little detailing right here that I thought was so, so sweet. It's just got this little bow and then a little um, heart charm with a V in front of it. So I thought these were some fun little panties. And I found this little set that I'm super excited to wear. These are some little shorts, some little night or lounge shorts. And I don't know if you can tell, but they've got like little polka dots, like teeny tiny polka dots all over them. And this white piping along the top. They are stretchy with the little Victoria um, secret in gold, the V in gold. So those are the bottoms. And this is the top. So again, like little baby polka dots. Um, I guess it's not white piping. It's like baby pink piping. And then the baby pink straps. 
and this is what the back of that looks like it's just like a racer back that so yeah I got that I just have been wanting some fun like little really pretty and feminine um, night clothes and then especially for like, you know, romantic time, I wanted something kind of really nice. So I'll probably go in and um, buy a couple of other, a couple of other little lingerie pieces because I've gotten rid of a lot. Just like, you know, they just get worn out after a while. So I got these, another little pair of panties. These are like mauve little lace panties here and they've got this little um detailing on the hip and it just says pink so i got those and i got these little mint green ones and these have like a little silver metallic in them and these panties were on sale i think they were having I think it was their panty party. I'm not sure. But yeah, I got those. And finally, <laughs> I have been wanting these panties for so long. I want the bras too, but they were out of my size, of course. And of course, they were out of the fuchsia like I wanted. So I just got what I could get. But I have been wanting these panties with the bling on the sides forever. So I finally got some. I got a couple of pair of thongs. And yes, they just said Victoria's Secret. They're in bling. Let me see. I don't know if you if the bling is coming up as um as much as I would like, but anyway. Yeah. Just says Victoria's Secret. And um, yeah, so they're just little lace thongs. So I got baby pink and I got um, a cheater or leopard print. I can never tell the difference. So I'm like, well, let me get a pair of darker ones for when I wear lighter colored, lighter colored clothing. So I got these. So I'm going to keep checking back because I really want the bra, the matching bra, and I want them in like the hot pink and I can never find it. So anyway, I got that and then I also got, this is Sugar High. I absolutely love Victoria's Secret's lip glosses. They're super expensive if you buy them like not on sale. They're like $10, but um but yeah, they're, I love Victoria's Secret slip glosses. So I got that. And then the last thing I got, this is one of their new fragrances. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about Victoria's Secret's perfumes. I don't know if I'm just not trying the right ones. Their body fragrances are pretty okay. But I'm more partial to Bath & Body Works um, body mist. But I don't know, sometimes I wear it and I'm like, oh, this smells good. But then after wearing it for a while, it's just like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. But I smelled, um, I tried this and smelled it in the store and I kind of liked it. This is the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Oasis. And like I said, this is one of their, um, I believe their newest, oh, there we go. I believe it's one of their newest uh, fragrances. So I just got like a little baby one. That way, if I um, if I don't care for it after I smell it, then it's fine. I, I still like it. I don't even know how to describe this. Um, I will say it's more of like a clean smell than like than like a heavy fragrance I feel like if I'm just like running errands or something like that this would be good I don't I don't know I don't I think I would I wouldn't use this for like a date night I f would use this like for hanging out with the girls or running errands maybe I don't know I need to I need to sit with it for a little while longer I think but it doesn't it doesn't stink it smells actually really nice so um, I'll kind of give y'all an update I'll give y'all an update and how I feel still feel about that but 
that's all for Victoria's Secret. Oh, okay, so I just stuck it in there with my gifts. When I went and got my eyebrows waxed, I went to um, this brow bar for the very first time and she let me pick out a gift. So I just picked up this body cream. It's just a deep moisturizing uh, cocoa butter. So I just stuck that in there with, with my birthday gift. So that's something. Okay, the next item that I got, the next little bag is from Monkeys. This is a store, a little boutique in Avalon. And I didn't get much. I only got one thing, one pair of earrings. But y'all, look at these earrings. I need to go or host a dinner party so I can wear these. I got charcuterie board party. Look at these earrings. Are these not fabulous? How freaking adorable are these? <laughs> Y'all know, I think I've told y'all before, I love things that look like other things. So, um, like my handbags, I love, um, like one of my favorite handbags that Mitchell bought me is this Betsy Johnson one. And it's a handbag, but it's in a, can a shape of a soup can. So, yeah, I love that. Um, another one he bought me is this handbag. Isn't this so cute? These are Betsy Johnson's. So I love earrings that look like other things. I love handbags that look like other things. I don't know. I just, I'm weird that way, I guess. But I saw these and I'm like, oh my God, I need these. So these are so super cute. I love these. <laughs> so that is all that I got from Monkeys. Um, I probably will be going in there because I am obsessed with that store. They're just a little pricey. So that'll have to be like a separate, a separate situation. But that's what I got from there. Um, yeah. Okay, so this, it doesn't have a name on it, but this came from Paper Source. If you are not familiar with Paper Source, it is a um, like a paper goods. So they have like gift wrap, uh, different like host or hostess gifts. Um, those are the main things that they have in there. But I love going in there because they've got like super cute little things. So the first thing that I got from there, um, this is going to be somewhere on my champagne bar. <laughs> <laughs> um where the other video that y'all saw with my white shelves that's kind of like my champagne bar so this just says pop fizz clink banner and it's just a set a set of three pre strong banners so it's got like little champagne glasses and then champagne bottles in there so it looks like this and then the back of it if you have it all together that's what it looks like so I don't really know how I'm going to do it since mine is very long and narrow. It's not wide, but I have to figure out something because this was just so, so freaking cute. So I got that. I also got a little book. I want to start like really going back to entertaining. So this is just a book and it just says Wine Time. Um, it's 70 plus recipes for simple bites that pair perfectly with wine. So I got that. So that should be a fun little book. I also got, y'all know I'm obsessed with my little cocktail napkins. This one just says cheers clink drink. And it's just in like, um, like a little peachy color. So I got those. And then I cannot wait to get into this book. Um, this just says burn after reading. And what it is, this is what it looks like. It just says, um, how honest can you be when no one is watching? So it is a little, I guess like a diary, like a journal diary. And it's just something for me to keep personally. Um, it has little, I'm trying to describe this, but as soon as I opened it up, I was like, oh, I need that. So different things um, like this. So it just says, welcome to the book of you. 
and it has different things in there like one um the hardest thing i've ever done and then you just write it and then if i could do it all over again i would change blah 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 so this is something not really for anyone else's eyes um this is amazing i'm like i need this book um it's just something to where you can be in your personal quiet time so like y'all know i have to get up at 4 a.m to go to work when i have to be at work at 7 because i live and work so far away but sometimes i get up at 3 and to have my coffee or my tea um and to read just like be quiet before mitchell gets up at like 5 30 and so this would be one of the things that I just spend time just by myself in quiet. Just, you know, it's just something to help you get to learn about yourself. So, yeah, I thought this was amazing. So I picked this book up. And the last couple of things that I got from there are I love Sugarfina candy. <laughs> If y'all are not familiar with Sugarfina, it is candy. It's like very, very bougie, expensive candy. <laughs> and Paper Source has them. So I just get these little tiny things um, whenever. These are champagne gummy bears. So there we go. They look like that. And if you, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, during uh, Valentine's Day, I was doing a couple of little reels with them. This was birthday cake cookie bites. And let's see, are you going to focus? Okay, there's that. And that's what they look like. And then the other ones I got is tequila grapefruit sours. <laughs> so I got those. And that is what they look like. And then I got, I've tried these before and I fell in love with them. These are cappuccino cordials. So, oh, there we go. So that is what those look like. So when you bite into these, there's a liquid cappuccino that comes out of them. They're so good. <laughs> And the last ones that I got, these are bubbly bears. So I believe these are a mixture of, let's see, I think these are a mixture of rosé and brie champagne. Um, yeah, gummy bears. So I got those and yeah, that is all that I got from Paper Source. I cannot wait to try this candy. <laughs> I love these. These are so good. Heck, I may try the birthday cake ones. Mm. Birthday cake is good. <laughs> okay, so the next bag is home goods. And what is this? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> For Jesus, Easter is Sunday. Today is Thursday. I completely forgot about these. Oh, these little bunny uh, coffee cups. Lord, well, I'll just have some more. But yeah, um, it just says, Did some bunny say coffee? So yeah, I, I forgot about these. <laughs> So I got those. I love to pick up these little uh, coffee cups for every holiday. And this is, looks like a mug. A lot of the stuff I forgot what it even is. Oh, yes. Y'all, look how freaking adorable. Look at this. It just says Cinderella. And it has Cinderella's um, glass slipper on the top of it. How freaking cute is this? Oh my God. I love this. I think what I'm going to do is just get like a little, um, a little diamond and put maybe right there or some glitter or something. I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, I was never a really big fan of Ray Dunn until I started seeing like, um, all of these super fun little mugs and um, other things that were kind of like this. 
I always thought Ray Dunn was just like super plain, just like the white um, pottery stuff. But I I have a couple of Ray Dunn pieces and I've really been enjoying them. So y'all know Cinderella is my favorite Disney princess. So I was so happy to get this. So yeah, this is my little mug. Okay. The next bag that I got is from Ulta. Um, is there a seat? Okay, so this is, okay, so I have been needing a um, facial scrub. So I picked this up. I've never heard of this brand. It's from Tree Hut. And this is just a brightening sugar face scrub. This is what that looks like. And I couldn't smell it because it has a label on there, but I'm pretty sure it smells good. So I just picked this up just to have something like a facial scrub. Um, I was using not Neutrogena. What, what, what is it? I can't think of the name. When I figure out the name, I'll put it on one of these sides, but that's what I was using. Um, so, and I didn't have time to find it. So anyway, um, oh y'all, I picked up a new palette. This is from Juvia's Place. Y'all, the, um, I'm not going to open it right now because I may do a, um, unboxing with this. So it's sealed. Is it sealed? Oh no, it's not sealed on the side. Yeah, I may do an unboxing with this. These colors are absolutely amazing. This is the packaging of it. I love how vibrant it is. Look at this. Are these not beautiful? They're so vibrant. So, um, yeah, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of glitter. Let's get a little closer so you can see. Yeah, it's got um, a couple of glitter ones in there, a decent amount of glitter ones in there, actually. And then some that are probably just like a matte. So, yeah, I can't wait to kind of play around with these. So, put that there. So, I got this from them. Let's sit that back in there. And the next thing that I got, these, okay, these are some under eye patches. I realized in quarantine, of course, I had time to kind of play around and find out what works. Um, the little eye patches that you put for puffiness, they really work with me and my allergies. My allergies are severe. So I just picked these little, um, these little under eye patches. I can throw these in my beauty fridge and let them cool and then just kind of put them up under my eyes. And that helps with my eyes, um, watery and itchiness. I don't really know why, but it, that it helps when I did it with my, um, with my little under eye mask. So I'm hoping that these will have the same effect. So I put, picked those up. Um, I also picked up Ariana Grande's, um, perfume, just Ari by Ariana Grande. Of course, y'all know we are obsessed with Ariana Grande over here. So, I finally got that. Um, what is this? Oh, so I picked up the lipstick, the pink lipstick that I showed you in my shopping vlog. I picked it up. And again, this is Holly Weird Lipstick Cream from um, Urban Decay. And this is the packaging. And that is what that looks like. So, I know, I don't need any more pink lipstick. <laughs> um, I kind of do though, honestly, because y'all ask me what lipstick color I have on all the time and sometimes it's one color but a lot of the times i mix them because i'm running out of like hot pink lipstick and so i have to mix the remnants 
of the other things that I have. So I'm like, I need to get a really good, vibrant, hot pink lipstick that is just one lipstick. So when y'all ask, I can tell you, hey, it's this. So I got that. Um, This, what is this? Oh, okay. So remember I told y'all that um, Ulta... I had to find my my um, email about my birthday. They don't have your birthday. That is your birthday um, thing on your account like Sephora does. You actually have to go in and find the email and show them the birthday email. I didn't have time for all that. So I went back um, when I went back to look for my that better than sex perfume i still don't have it i'll try to get it um when i called back a couple of days later it wasn't in yet so i still didn't get it um but anyway i told them that i bought one other thing i can't remember what it was and this was what they gave me as my birthday gift this is the facial spray with aloe um i never heard of this this is super random i don't know <sighs> I, I am not, like I said in my other video, if y'all have heard of this, let me know and tell me how you feel about it. I don't know. I think this is just super random and like the presentation, I think, is what's throwing me off. Like Sephora, everything's boxed up and it says on there, happy birthday. This is just some little random thing that they just stuck in the bag. So... I don't know. I'm not very partial to Ulta, to be honest. I'm really not. But anyway, that's just me. Um, the last item that I got, this is the Revolution. Uh, this is Candy Haze. And it is a Sweet Dreams Fixing Spray. So it is a setting spray for your makeup. I've never had a setting spray before. I don't believe it. I've never used one. But I just decided to try this. Um, I just decided to try it. It's pink and it says that it smells like candy. <laughs> so that's really what sold me on the packaging. But the packaging is super cute. Um, so yeah, I'll try that. I've never heard of this brand before, but yeah. And is that it? Oh, no. This. What is this? Oh, this is liquid eyeshadow from, again, from Juvia's Place. And I believe this is pronounced Fola. Um, but this is like a high, what am I? Holographic, not high. Holographic eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. So that should be kind of fun to kind of play around with. Uh-oh. So yeah, that is all that I bought from Sephora. I mean, oh, okay, so yeah, that is all that I bought from Ulta. Um, yeah, I don't know. Y'all comment down below and tell me what you're partial to. Are you more partial to Ulta than Sephora or vice versa? One other thing that I don't like that Ulta does when I went in to look for perfume, I realized, is that um they don't have like it's hard to get samples of fragrances and i'm the type of person that i have to like spray something on me and kind of walk around with it but yeah sephora just like sprays it like has the bottle there and like sprays it in little like a little baby thing for you to take it home and you know just kind of walk around and see how you feel about it and also doesn't have that i don't know Anyway, oh Lord, we are out of hour and I'm only halfway done. <laughs> okay, this is again from Marshalls. What is in here? Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, this is, oh, I didn't think I bought this. <laughs> again, Easter is almost here, so I have to use these, but I love Peter Cottontail. <laughs> I do. I love um, Peter Cottontail. This is Peter Rabbit's um, just coffee cups. I thought this was just so freaking adorable. So I got these. So 
Yeah. I thought it was so cute. Little Peter Rabbit. Um, the next thing that I got. Oh, yes. Can't wait to try this. So, again, um, Mitchell and I are actually going on vacation to Orlando. This next, the end of next week. Um, yeah, the end of next week. And this is um, Copper Tone Sunscreen Lotion Spray. But it's glow. So this is in a 50 SPF. And it's just a lightweight um, spray with shimmer. So I picked this up. And again, I plan on going to Miami. So that'll be super fun. Um, let me try this. It just smells like regular. Uh, maybe I have to shake it up. It just, oh, there we go. I don't know if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can see it like ever so slightly. It's just got little glitter flakes in there. I hope you can see it. You may not be able to, but I don't know. You can kind of see it here, but yeah. So I wanted to try that. Y'all know I'm obsessed with my glitter, so. Anything that says extra shimmer, it's mine. <laughs> so I got that. And what is this? Ooh. Oh, okay. So uh, I picked these up. These are California Dreaming. It's a four pack of makeup removing towels. So it's gorgeous packaging. It looks super tropical and pink so the reason why i got these is because the last time that i stayed at hotel avalon the sheets any hotel the sheets everything the towels are white and i try to do my best to take my makeup off with my um makeup remover wipes before i wash my face in the shower with the with the towel but i'm chocolate so my <laughs> makeup is obviously dark and it just like stains the towels and so I'm like, I need something that's a little bit, you know, heavier when I'm taking my makeup off that's mine, where I don't have to mess up their towels and I don't want to be charged for it. So I picked these up. It's in a super cute little zip pouch and I can just take my makeup off with this and um, make sure all the makeup off is off and then wash my face and then use their towel to, you know, do the rest. And that way, most of my makeup, if not all of my makeup is off, and I don't have to worry about messing up their towels. So, yeah, I got these. So, this will definitely be something that I just throw in my uh, suitcase. And, yeah, that's perfect. So, I got those. The last thing in this bag is, what? looks like another mug. Oh, yes, another mug. Like, I need another one, I know. <laughs> This one is super cute. This is a, again, another Ray Dunn. Um, this is a mug with a mermaid. It just says mermaid hair. And in the back of it, it says don't care. <laughs> so this is a um, baby pink holographic iridescent i'm sorry this is a baby pink iridescent mug and these little tops are super fun and good for when you're trying to steep tea because at first i was like why do i need the top of it but if you're steeping tea which i've been drinking a lot of tea lately um they're perfect so and they're just super cute so yeah i thought that was so fun i needed it <laughs> so i got that and yeah that is the last thing out of this bag okay so the next item that i got is from target oh found another fun pink starbucks tumbler this one has the the mermaid on there can you see that i hope you can see that yeah it's got the mermaid on there and it's just a um, very light pink tumbler. So I got that. I've been looking for this one. And I know everyone has been um, looking at the Stony Clover uh, launch collaboration with Target. 
honestly, y'all, mine was so out of everything. I'm guessing that I just got there too late, but I could not find that much, honestly. But what I did find that I was super excited about is I got my beach umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> so of course I'm not gonna take this out right now and I was very surprised at the price I thought this was gonna be like a hundred dollars it was only 40 so yeah it is a beach umbrella and on the bottom you can see kind of it's got like little ruffles on there I'll try to put a picture right here so you can see it like fully up but um yeah it's so cute and at first I was like well we don't really have a beach close by here, but I think that when we like take jobs to Charleston or somewhere else like that, um, I'm still gonna, I'll be able to bring it with me. And then even in the back, it'll be super fun to kind of set up and take Instagram pictures and all that. So yeah, for the summertime. So that is what I got from Target. Let's see, we're almost done here. Um, oh, this is another Marshall's bag. What? I don't know what this is. Oh, these are some little um, champagne glasses that I got. These are uh, iridescent as well. So I picked these up. I don't know if I'm going to have room to put them in my beauty room or not by my champagne bar. Because my champagne bar is very, like I said, I mean, you've seen it, is very long and narrow. But, yeah, I'll have these. If it doesn't fit in my champagne bar, then I'll just keep it for downstairs in our dining room. We have a fairly huge dining room. And so, Mitchell and I are trying to do a, um, like, an actual bar in there. Um, so, then I'll just set it up at the bar. It'll be fine. So, that is... That is that. is another Marshall's bag oh so I ended up getting um I love Kate Spade um live colorfully this is one of my favorite fragrances and I feel like it's like going to be my signature fragrance and this was on sale for $26 it was on clearance and so I, I didn't want to run the risk of them like not carrying it anymore. So I went ahead and picked up two of them. <laughs> so yeah, um, this smells absolutely beautiful. Again, I love sweet smelling. I love sweet scents. And this smells really, really sweet and feminine. So yeah, I picked up two of these. So I got a decent amount of perfume. Which is nice because I've been wanting, um, I've been wanting some more perfume. So, got that. Let's see. This is another Ulta bag. What is this? Oh, okay, yeah. Like I said, I couldn't find, um, they were still out of Better Than Sex. So, I will find that later. But I went ahead and tried, uh, wanted to pick up the Viva La Juicy Rosé. So I have not smelled this yet because again, Ulta doesn't have samples. So um, I just picked this up blindly and this was not cheap. So I'm praying to God that it smells good. But everyone says the packaging is absolutely to die for. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping so. So yeah, I picked up the Viva La Juicy Rosé. And let's see, what is this? Oh, this is another TJ Maxx bag. Um, again, <laughs> my little headbands. These um, these are a kitty. I wasn't gonna get it because I really don't like cats, but it's baby pink and it has the um, uh oh, it has a little iridescent ears. So I went ahead and picked that up. And let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is, oh good, because I couldn't remember if I picked this up or not. So this is just the um, Satin Sleep Cap. 
and I try to tie my hair up at night uh, so I just picked this up this is just the sleep cap and you can just tie it however you want this what else this is oh this is uh, Kate Spade in full and full blush this is a fragrance and again, I could not smell this. It's just from TJ Maxx, so of course, you know, you can't smell anything, but I heard that this smells um, pretty good. So I picked that up. And what's this? This is a 3.4 ounce. And then, oh, I picked up these little um, set of makeup brushes. I have, I think if y'all saw one of my other um, hauls like a little while ago, I've got a really big uh, makeup brush that matches this and I love it. It's so super soft and it's so cute. So I picked that up and yeah, I think that's the last of that bag. And I think this is it y'all. The last bag. <laughs> the last bag from Marshalls. Let's see, this is, oh, I got some super cute little Easter cookies, little Easter sugar cookies. I feel, uh, figured I would uh, do a couple of reels with these. I might have one of those in just a second. And what is this? Oh, my little Easter mug. I really got to shoot content content with this stuff because Easter is literally in a couple of days but yes I saw this uh Shari on Instagram took a picture with this and I'm like oh my god that's so cute and then I just happened to find it so I was so super excited to find that um to find this mug so yes it just says bunny kisses and Easter wishes so freaking adorable so that is it y'all that is my big giant haul <laughs> of what i got for my birthday thank y'all so very much for watching this very long video um yeah i think i think that is it so i will see you in the next time probably the next video oh it is going to be my lily um, the grand opening of the Lily Pulitzer store. So I can't wait for y'all to see that. And then uh, after that video, I will have the unboxing of a couple of the little goodies that I got from there. So anywhere, cheers. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.